Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to be cooking a quiche Lorraine, which is such a delicious recipe. And yes, it is a French recipe. I am European and I love to do French dishes and European dishes. And the quiche Lorraine is one of the simplest dishes that I've ever done. So yeah, I'd love to share this recipe with you because, well, it would make anybody look like a really great chef. So well, without any further ado, let's start cooking. The ingredients that we're going to need are one puff pastry, 2.5 ounce of sour cream, 200 grams of smoked bacon, five eggs, some grated cheese, and then some salt and pepper. Now that we know the ingredients, the next step is to lay down the puff pastry. And it's super duper simple since we can buy ready-made puff pastries like these ones in pretty much any supermarket. And then we're going to be laying it down in a circular container. So let's do that. Laying down the pastry is extremely easy. Simply place the puff pastry over the circular baking pan and little by little try to get the pastry to take on the shape of the pan. Most likely the pastry will not have the exact shape of the circular pan. If that is the case, take some scissors and cut out the excess pastry dough and set it to the side. Once all the excess is taken out, fill in the missing gaps in the baking pan with the extra dough, making sure that the puff pastry reaches the edge of the pan. Even though we are using separate pieces of dough, once cooked all of it will blend together and will feel as if it was only one piece originally. Once the pastry has the desired shape, take a fork and stab a bunch of holes on the bottom of the pastry. Doing this allows the steam to escape the pastry dough, ensuring that the bottom of the dough doesn't puff in the oven. Now that the pastry is properly laid down, we're going to put it to the side. And we're going to take a container and we're going to mix some ingredients. The first ingredient that we're going to be putting in the bowl is five eggs. The eggs don't need to have the white and the yellow of the eggs separated. Simply crack the shells of the eggs and place them in the container. Once that is done, take a blender and quickly blend the eggs. After that, take some sour cream and add four to five full spoonfuls of it. Usually for baking, I'd be more specific on the amount, but for this particular recipe, we can be a little bit sloppier. Once the sour cream is added to the bowl, mix once again very briefly with a blender. This really takes just a few seconds as the sour cream will blend pretty quickly. Then finally add a pinch of salt followed by a little bit of pepper and mix one last time with a spoon. Now that we've successfully created this initial mix, the next step is to take some bacon strips. We need six oz of bacon strips and this amounts to about six long strips like these ones right here. And I found that the best way to cut them is to use some scissors. And yeah, your first instinct might be that this is not the right way to do it, but honestly, using scissors is so simple and just gives the perfect cut. Cutting the bacon strips is truly simple with the scissor technique and should only take 30 seconds or so to do. Just be sure to cut the bacon into pretty small bits. Once that is done, take your circular baking pan and spread half of the cut pieces evenly throughout the bottom of the pan. Then take some grated cheese and spread the cheese over the bacon. Any grated cheese will work, but if you want to make it more traditional, use some grated Emmental cheese. Now that the cheese is spread throughout the bottom of the pan, take the second half of the bacon strips and spread them over the cheese. Finally, take the concoction that we blended in the bowl and pour it over the baking pan, making sure that it fills the whole baking pan. Okay, well, that's about it for all the ingredients that you need in order to make a quiche Lorraine. The final step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Once the oven has reached 350 degrees, simply put this concoction inside the oven and let it bake for about 30 to 45 minutes and you're done. Once the quiche is in the pan, just keep an eye on it. The cooking isn't too fast, but you should be able to tell when the quiche is done once the puff pastry is nice and golden and the top layer of the quiche has a golden omelette-like texture to the touch. Wow, look at this quiche. Isn't it beautiful? This is such a simple dish to make and it really will make you look like a wonderful and super experienced chef, but this is so easy that pretty much anybody can make it. But with that being said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy it, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment too, let me know if there's maybe other recipes that you'd like me to do. I'm always eager to test out new things. But with that being said, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.